it is 12 o'clock, so we're going to get started. Again, out of respect for your time, but thank you so much uh, for uh, your consideration and making the time to be with us today. Uh, we will certainly, our intention is to make the most of this opportunity. But to begin with, let me just, so you know who you're uh, you're talking with today. Uh, my name is Gary O'Neill. Um, I'm a home consultant. I work out of the Port Orchard office. So I am uh, serving those that are on the north side of Tacoma Narrows Bridge uh, into uh, Gig Harbor, uh, Kitsap, and Mason County. But we also have uh, Miranda. Uh, she is in our uh, Tacoma office, as well as Joey, uh, who is in our Tacoma office as well. So the three of us will be working with you today in order to do everything in our power to accomplish your purpose by means of this webinar. Uh, to begin with, we really want to make the point that uh, it's only because of pandemic protocols, out of respect uh, for those, and out of consideration certainly for you, and by means of having referred to that, we hope that you and your family have, have been and continue to be safe during this uh, difficult time. But before all this, in fact, as of March of last year, uh, we were proud and rather enthusiastic to show our homes at every opportunity. That month, I think we had, we showed two homes by means of an open house, but we would show our homes in construction at any stage that you wanted to see them in order to see the, the bones, so to speak, of the home uh, on the verge of occupancy. Uh, we're very, very proud of the craftsmanship that we feel is reflected in each of our homes. But unfortunately, uh, this is not a situation such as an existing home that might be for sale, for sale by owner, uh, that you'd have that opportunity to walk through. Uh, we're doing our best and continuing always to add to our virtual tour list on the website. Uh, when we create a new one, we have a webinar such as this. So this uh, uh, Baker virtual tour is, uh, is rather new. Uh, just a week or two at the most, but I, I do apologize. We wish we could do this in person. So what will we accomplish today? Well, I think we will accomplish quite a bit in the fact that we're gonna do our best to virtually uh, walk you through this home as much as we possibly can to get as close to that, uh, that personal experience as, as you would have uh, no doubt likely have preferred. But what Joey's gonna do in a few moments is going to take you room by room. He's going to differentiate standards and upgrades, uh, potential or existing architectural changes. We are a semi-custom home builder. So as long as we're, we're starting with one of our homes, we're happy to modify that and make it your own if the architectural plan as it is, is not completely uh, sufficient for you and your family. Just a brief, very brief overview of what this and our other homes come with. We're very, very proud of the standard features of each of our homes. So for instance, in this case, high efficiency heat pump, high efficiency uh, hot water heater. We've got recessed can lights, kitchen, great room. You don't have to add lights to any of these homes. Uh, you might want to in the pine tone groove soffits that exist in the front and the back, but otherwise uh, no concern. Uh, beyond that, we're going to prime and paint the interior for you. We're going to have luxury vinyl plank. It's important to stress luxury and the fact that in this case, it is literally a lifetime warranty. It's waterproof, not resistant, scuffed and stain resistant in all the wet areas. So what we're talking about there are, for instance, the foyer, kitchen, pantry, bathrooms, utility room, laundry room. And you'll have your, your choice if you haven't already met with us. Uh, four very, very popular standards, but then we have an abundance uh, beyond that if that, those aren't satisfactory. We're going to finish the garage, she rock and tape, walls and ceiling of the garage, and not just simply wire for garage door, but include that as well. Uh, our windows on average, I think you'll agree if you've met with other builders, are on average 20% bigger uh, without having to enlarge those by means of an upgrade. Three foot stem wall foundation is standard hardy cement lap siding all the way around prime, but not painted. So we, we paint the inside, but not the outside. We do that, we think to, to your benefit in the fact that many of us maybe have a friend or a family member that knows how to paint or knows someone you can get competitive bids and potentially save some money on the, uh, on the paint. It is obviously a, uh, an available upgrade 
with us, if you prefer just to include that. Then 30, 30 year architectural roof, Milgard, lifetime low E double glazed windows with screens. So just a, a few of the examples, but I don't wanna get so much into the architectural plan because Joey's gonna do that for you. But one thing I really, really wanna stress, and I know Joey will as well, is this is meant to be interactive. Again, we wanna make the most of your time. We don't want this to come and go without fully accomplishing your purpose. So that being said, please utilize the chat feature. Uh, and what we tend to do, having done this a few times now, is we found it's most beneficial for you if we hold your questions until the end and then answer them as well as we can by means of, of this uh, arrangement. But as I mentioned earlier, we're going to contact each of you uh, when this is done, before the end of today. And if we didn't answer your question satisfactory in this occasion, we promise we will then. So again, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us, uh, for giving us the consideration and potentially the privilege of building uh, your family's home. It's not anything we take for granted. So that being said, let's give our attention to Joy. Thanks, Gary. And again, yeah, warm welcome to everybody. We're super happy you're all here. Uh, looking forward to walking through this virtual tour with each of you guys. So uh, give us just a moment. We're gonna get our screens all set up here. Uh, Chris, if you wanna go ahead and spotlight our website for us, we'll start walking everyone through, okay? Just be a moment. All right, excellent. And I'm gonna actually stop my video as well because this is the main focus. So uh, I hope this is coming through okay for all of you. Um, again, just to really to echo exactly what Gary said a moment ago, this is interactive in the sense that everything that I do, um, you can do. So I'm gonna walk you through this, but these tools uh, you can use as well. So even after this is done, go on the website and you can do exactly the same thing. So here we are on our floor plan page. We're gonna scan down to our home of the day. That is the Baker, two-story Baker, awesome house designed for narrow lots. Here's a quick little look at the layout. And uh, some, of the, some, some of the times we'll have uh, clients reach out to us and go, the, the layout seemed a little bit different. Almost always it's because the layout has been mirrored. So everything that you see here is like a mirror flipped over so pay attention to that sometimes but in the case of the baker it is laid out exactly as you see here so let's get right into that go down here and again this is all right on our website so you can do this too you click play i'm going to full screen this and here we are we're in the baker home so a couple quick little tips on uh on these virtual tours which by the way I think that we hit, well, we definitely did. We hit a record. We're so proud of our marketing team. Could not do anything like this without our awesome marketing team. So all the praise goes to them. Um, they produced, I want to say five virtual tours, five brand new virtual tours in less than, I think it was less than four weeks or less than five weeks. It was just amazing. So now we're getting close to having close to a dozen virtual tours of all different houses, it's just, it's incredible. To give you a quick little look at how to use the virtual tours, um, you can obviously look around, you know, that's the best part of this. You can look around and walk around, but what are all these, these dots? We call these info bits. Every one of those info bits has been placed there to answer a question. And the goal is you should be able to walk through any of these virtual tours and assuming you had a question, because we really try to get to know our clients. If you had a question, it's probably already answered. So just right here, you might be thinking, are those standard cabinets? Are those standard countertops? Are those appliances included? Are those standard light fixtures? Any number of those questions can come up is this a standard ceiling height, right? Well, all you do is click on it, look at that. Upgraded quartz countertops. There you go, you can learn about the countertops. Um, let's see, right here. 
corner cabinet. Okay. Um, what about this one? Standard cabinets. And it even tells you the name of the stain. If maybe you said, well, hey, I love that cabinet. What's the stain color? It's called umber, right? There's other stains available. It gives you a little bit more info. Um, appliances, are appliances included? Okay, appliances are not included. And here's three reasons why we wouldn't do that and why it's to your, your benefit. Um, looking over here, what's this one right here? Standard eight foot ceilings. So you get the idea, all these info bits, they're designed for you to walk through this house and virtually any question that you would have is probably already answered, but of course, uh, we're available to answer any questions. This, uh, the virtual tours are actually something that we really enjoy using when we meet in person with you. When we're sitting down at the same table and we can talk about the features and, and upgrades or any changes that you wanna have in your house, these virtual tours, I mean, it's the next best thing to be in there in person. So um, just to walk you through this a little bit more, notice that you have a couple of buttons here at the bottom of this screen. These are extremely helpful. Uh, this first one, it's actually the second button here, this view floor plan. You can see that and they're actually labeled kitchen, dining room, back porch, great room, front door entries right here. This is a good way of being able to just get an overall view of what you're seeing. And then this button here, you see it has a number one. If you click on this, you can jump from floor to floor on the two story floor plans. So now you can see the front bedroom. So you can see the, the, the two bay garage is actually underneath this section. That's why if you jump to floor number one, all this is missing. Well, there's a garage right here, okay? Um, another cool feature is this, it's called the dollhouse mode. Look at this thing. So you can actually get a three-dimensional view of the whole house. Pretty neat. You get kind of a little closer in there. Um, and then last but not least, let's do this. Let's hop back over to the kitchen. You can jump from place to place. So now we're standing back in the kitchen. Well, one of the questions we get all the time is, well, you know, how do I know that my, uh, my dining room table or my bar stools will fit here? Uh, I'm not there in person. So if I'm not there in person, you know, I need some help. I'm not really sure, you know, how to figure out how big is the space? Well, look at this. There's a button right here. Measurement mode. Look at that. Virtually every measurement you would want to know is already measured. How big is the island? Um, I'll tell you on the baker, because the staircase is right here, I've had numerous people ask me, well, how much space is between walking through the stairs and then hitting this uh, cabinet? Because it doesn't, some of our pictures, it looks like this is butted right up against the staircase. Well, you got about five feet there. You know, you actually, you know, and I've walked the baker, you know, I, I think having a a bar stool there and still having plenty of room to walk is, is, you know, there's more than enough room. And then here you go, if you look, just to get an overall view, look at this, all of the different measurements throughout this whole thing, we've taken the time to put them in there so you can really get an idea of how big the space is. So anyways, that's how to use most of the main things, but let's actually look through this. Um, first of all, we come over here, get kind of more of an overview here. Um, and I see that we got a couple of, of questions coming in. Thank you so much. Please send in any questions at all you have. There's no such thing as a dumb question here. Any, any questions you have after we get finished doing this quick little, you know, maybe 15 or 20 minute walkthrough, we're going to answer every single question we can. Okay. Um, so right here, the first thing, these are upgraded quartz countertops. Uh, one of the nice things about all of these info bits Anytime that you see an info bit, what we try to do is the first word is either standard or upgrade. So right from the beginning, you don't have to read through this whole thing if you don't want to. You should pretty much know, is this a standard or an upgrade? So these are upgraded quartz countertops and there's dozens and dozens of different styles. Um, uh, the standard countertop is a laminate, but you know, laminates come a long way since I was a kid. Um, 
a lot of them even look like quartz. A lot of them look like granite or real, uh, real, real marble. Even um, they're not as good as uh, as granite or or quartz, uh, obviously. But hey, if you you want to save, who knows, five, ten, twenty thousand dollars, depending on what what grade of countertop you're wanting to do throughout the whole house. You know, we always ask the question: How long are you going to live in this house? If the, if you're going to live in this house for five or ten or twenty years, you know, maybe you want to upgrade and do a do a granite countertop later in the in the different areas so you you don't have to upgrade if if it doesn't meet your your budget right from the start um this is one thing that's kind of cool so you can see right here we list this as uh, the corner cabinets and lazy susans that's what's actually under here in this corner so this two-piece thing it opens up and there's a kind of like a circular thing in here the point is on pretty much any kitchen, I want to say almost every Cobalt kitchen where there's a corner, we do this too, because we don't want you to waste any cabinet space. But uh, as mentioned earlier with that other info bit, this is a standard cabinet. Currently, we have five other stains available in the standard design. There's a lot of other ones to choose from. However, um, when it comes to the cabinet, the quality of the cabinet, the real wood cabinet, along with this matching uh, staggered crown molding, all of that, that's the standard, whether you're doing an upgrade or not. It's the same quality. The standard cabinet is the same quality as an upgrade. It's just the different styles cost more because of the distrib uh, distributor. Uh, this right here, this little green one, we want to let you know, you know, sometimes there's ideas, you know, maybe you don't want to have your microwave above your stove. A lot of folks don't want to do that. It's not the style they want. Uh, there's definitely options. If you wanted to remove this cabinet altogether and plan for a full hood vent with a chase, um, yeah, very popular. You could do that. Um, or you could install very simply um, uh, a hood vent right here and keep this cabinet. There's multiple options to choose from to be able to do that. We'll make sure you can have that done. Um, another thing too is the standard cabinet design is to have this open so you can do a what this is called a freestanding stove, a freestanding range. But even though we're not a cabinet shop, we're not a custom cabinet builder, we can install a cooktop cabinet here so you have more space and then it could be a drop in cooktop. So that's definitely a, a change that we're happy to do for you. We've done many times. Um, moving over here, you can see they have the standard kitchen faucet. It's a standard chrome faucet, Moen lifetime warranty. We can do a lot of different ones if you want more of like a designer faucet. Um, the sink, this is unique right here, custom square kitchen, uh, kitchen sink. Now, this isn't a sink that we typically sell, but this is a good example where sometimes, even though we are not a custom builder, Sometimes we are able to bring in unique items. That's something that depends on a lot of different things all working out and being successful. We have to work with your project manager. We have to work with our time frames and our warranties and all, everything has to line up because being a custom builder is extremely difficult. Being a semi-custom builder is hard too. So that's something that uh, this customer was able to work out with their project manager to get a unique sink. So that's something you could talk to your project manager about. Uh, moving on to things like backsplash, you can see here, oh, not that one, I'm sorry, this one right here. Backsplash, so this is actually the standard backsplash, but it was extended. So you see that it's extended all the way up to a, a full height, full height backsplash all the way up to the bottom of the cabinets. The standard backsplash is only about six inches tall. It's not the entire wall. But if you wanted to have it extended, obviously we can do that. We can build that into your budget. It's actually a very, it's a relatively inexpensive change. And then this other little info bit that I touched on just for a second here says, look closely USB charging outlets. This is pretty cool. Um, USB charging outlets are, are getting to be more and more popular. We put four of those in every house. So you're gonna have one in your kitchen, you'll have one in three of the other bedrooms. Pretty cool. Um, over here, back to the kitchen island. 
Um, right here, you can see standard electrical. Every Koval kitchen island has two electrical outlets on the sides of the island. So that's already built in. Uh, another common question we get is about lighting. So you can see this little info bit here. This is standard lighting. Every Koval kitchen and great room or living room has uh, these really nice, bright, um, recessed can lights throughout the whole interior. These hanging pendant lights are a standard feature of every Koval kitchen island. And then a lot of our clients ask, well, what's this little, it's kind of like this little puck shaped thing on the ceiling. Um, that's a fire sprinkler system. It's not something that everyone needs. If I had to put a number on, it's probably 50 to 60% of our homeowners have to do this. And it depends on the county, depends on uh, how close you are to a nearby fire hydrant. It also depends on the square footage of your house. Um, it's, yeah, it's kind of 50-50. Might even, might even be less than 50% of our homeowners. It's certainly not everyone that has to have that. Um, but saves lives. There's obviously fires, so I've got to be careful and have to abide by code. It's not something that you decide or we decide. It's a code thing. Uh, you may have noticed the really beautiful LVT flooring. I know Gary mentioned this a lot. It's one of our best standard features. This is a beautiful flooring. It looks just like real wood. It's actually textured. It feels like real wood. And as far as sound, it acts just like real wood. It's not a noisy flooring. It's not like a ceramic tile flooring where the sound bounces off and you got this echoey house. It's, it's actually very soft. Um, this little info bit here mentions, this is standard LVT flooring. So this is one of the standard, um, I, I believe right now we have four current colors we're using, but there's dozens of other colors we can talk about. This is one of our most popular standard floorings. And then throughout, as we move here into the dining room area and the great room, this living room area, you see it's carpeted. That's the standard carpet. Um, comes with a six pound pad and there's a lot of different colors to choose from. Um, I'm not, ex I can't remember exactly what the thread count is or if it's a, a hoop shaped loop or whatever that is, but um, I know it's a very good carpet. We have very, very few customers uh, change the quality of the carpet because it's already a very good one. But certainly if you wanted um, a different, more durable carpet, a higher quality carpet or an eight pound pad or even like a memory foam pad, we can definitely do that. If you do want to have um, a higher quality carpet, we can do that. That's a, a standard example of a uh, dining room chandelier. Uh, there's one or two different styles we usually go with for the standard. So sometimes you might see one that looks a little bit more, uh, more square shape. This one's a bit more curved. Either way, it's a really beautiful, uh, beautiful chandelier. All of the lighting throughout the great room in here, all these recessed can lights are all completely standard. And I had already mentioned along with the ceiling, this is the standard eight foot ceiling. Um, we can upgrade to a nine foot ceiling. And if you want to play around with your budget, we could just do nine foot ceilings on the first floor and standard ceilings on the, the eight foot ceilings on the second floor. We could do that. Or if you wanna have both floors upgraded to nine foot, we can do that too. There's some flexibility there. Um, getting over here, step over here, you can get a little bit of a look at this back porch. Um, you get a little bit of a, a look at this pine tongue and groove soffit. Um, and you can check our, our photo gallery actually to, to see a little bit more of that. Every Koval home has unfinished pine tongue and groove soffits on front and back porches. That's one of my personal favorite features. Just, it brings the outdoors in, you know, sitting out there is just, when you look up, it's just, it's so much more nice. Um, it's very, very nice. Uh, this is the standard six foot sliding glass door but you can see the little suggestion here. Would you like to change these to French doors or even make it an eight foot slider? We can, we can do that. If you'd, if you'd wanna do that, we can change these doors around a little bit. Um, this little info bit is kind of cool. This little green info bit. Will your dining room table fit here? So you'll see little suggestions like that. Um, those are opportunities to get back into this measurement mode. You see here, you got about 11 feet right here. So how big is your family? 
how many people do you entertain often? You know, that's a pretty, pretty easy question to get answered without having to be in person on these houses. Here we are in the great room. Um, I think we're, we've been pretty consistent on one thing here. Anytime that you see an info bit that is yellow, that typically means it's an architectural change. So keep an eye out for the yellow info bits. Uh, you can see here, um, that's a single window. Five, I believe it's a five by six window, but in the standard layout, there's actually a window here and a window over here. And that just gives our clients the ability to have another area for seating or for uh, their television system to fit in there. So that right there is one architectural change on this virtual tour. Um, huge windows here, these are all standard. We love big windows. Virtually every window that Cobol installs is five feet tall. Some of our windows, if you go to like the, uh, the Sitka, that has a 10 foot standard window, 10 foot wide, it's awesome. Um, we love windows and natural lighting. So standard oversized windows. Um, that has been a difference between do I build with Koval or do I build with builder A, B, or C? Um, trying to upgrade all the windows throughout a house can be very expensive. Um, I personally had a client that said this was about a $15,000 change and that was the difference. So we're very proud of the tall windows that we do in our houses, lots of natural light. Uh, here's another little info bit. Will your furniture fit here? Again, encouraging you to use the measurement mode. How big is your couch, right? How long is your couch? If you look over here, you know, how, uh, how big is your, if you did a TV here, I'll show you, you can actually, you can see there's not a, there's not an info bit or a, a measurement here that we, we can add later, but you can even do this yourself. If, if you were on our website, you can click on this, click there, drag it over. There you go. This wall is about 12 foot three. So you could even do your own kind of measurement and figure out, well, how big is my TV is going to fit here? Pretty cool. Uh, this right here is the thermostat, mentions our current standard is an electric HVAC system, and it comes with a heat pump. Um, that is probably my favorite standard, personally. Uh, I'm originally from Florida. Everyone in Florida has air conditioning, and you know in Washington it's very different. Most people don't, um, but that's starting to change. Every Koval home that we've built from January onward, um, every home that's been ordered, we're going to be doing uh, HVAC with heat pumps. So you will have air conditioning. Also, that is a smart thermostat. It hooks up with Google and Alexa Home. Uh, Google Home and Alexa, I should say. It's pretty cool. Whoops. Let me jump back in here. Sorry about that. That's the fun part of these virtual tours. You start zooming around. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, we've had a couple of clients ask us about this uh, fireplace. I wanted to address that um, right here. You click on this little info bit. Fireplace, right? So this was actually added after construction. Um, currently, this is not something that's sold or installed by Koval, although we have started looking a little bit more into those kind of things because fireplaces are very, very popular. Um, our fireplaces are gas, they're not electric. But as you can see here, this homeowner was able to quickly bring in this uh, little electric fireplace and have it installed even before we did our virtual tour. So just keep that in mind, this is a really good example. We want to build you a home that is of the right quality, it's the right standard, but also the right time frame. And we want to honor warranties and we don't want to risk inspections or anything like that. And so just because sometimes we can't do something, it's not the end of the world. That doesn't mean you can't have something done immediately after construction. Okay, so this is a really good example of that. Um, any questions you have on that during the build, your project manager is going to be the best source of, uh, of information or maybe even there's something he can do to, to help plan ahead for any change you might want to make. So that is the great room, big great room, lots of windows, real cozy. Getting around the corner here, uh, this is actually the front door. 
and there's a nice little closet here and a nice little closet here. The staircase going upstairs is right here. So looking to make use, you know, the best use of the space, we have extra storage uh, linen closets and things like that in here. Um, as you look up here, this is a standard feature in the Baker, really beautiful uh, loft up there that you can look over the railing, uh, standard lighting and windows up there as well. Just again, that's a signature, bringing in as much light as we can. That is the standard front door that comes with glass. That's the standard window that goes in the front door as well. Around the corner here, uh, you'll notice this really beautiful um, two pane, two panel uh, white craftman door. This is actually an upgrade. That's one thing that um, almost every one of our clients get is a, an upgraded white painted craftman door. Our standard doors are very modest. There's nothing really special about them. They're, they're a, a simple flat panel hollow core door and they're not painted, they're stained. Um, it really, it, it helps a lot of people save in their budget if they need it. You know, maybe it comes down to a, a few thousand dollars. We, wanna, we want to, uh, to have some better doors and trim. We can definitely do that or we can keep it simple and help you keep your budget on the lower end. Here's a little powder bathroom with a, a sink and a, and a toilet. Um, everything that you see in here is a standard except for the quartz countertop that we talked about before. That's the standard uh, backsplash about six inches tall. Those are standard cabinets, mirrors, uh, toilet, standard flooring. All of that is standard. Come back around here. Notice this other info bit here. Gary mentioned this. Standard interior painting. That right there sets us apart from many builders. It's, it's pretty common. Most builders don't want to do painting uh, for one reason or another, but we do all of our own interior painting and there's multiple colors to choose from. We can do your exterior painting as well if you'd like us to, or if you want to paint it yourself or hire somebody else to do it, if it saves you money, no problem. We can help you have room in your budget and in your, your time frame to be able to do that. So that's a pretty good look at the first floor. Again, just to use our little floor plan mode, we've looked uh, all around this area here. And then again, that garage is right here. To, uh, it's a two bay garage. So let's take a walk upstairs next, okay? Walk up here. That is a standard window, again, bringing in lots of natural light. And there is the loft that we talked about earlier. That's the standard area there. Okay, let's walk around the corner here. We are in the master bedroom suite. And uh, these little info bits here again. Will your bed fit here? Will your furniture fit here? Again, measurement mode. Look how big this, uh, this master bedroom is, 15 by 14. So lots of room to fit. Uh, because of a code regulation, again, this house needed to have a fire sprinkler system. So that's what that is there. Uh, standard bedroom lighting you can see here. Um, it's really interesting. A lot of builders don't do bedroom lighting. It's not a, I guess it's not a code. So you could have a builder that might be planning to install uh, no lights in your bedrooms. It's good to ask about that if, if you decided to build with somebody other than Koval. Same thing with windows. Koval installs windows with screens. A lot of builders do not install the screens. So it's good to know that. Again, standard in interior painting is what we do. Standard oversized windows. Uh, another thing too that uh, some folks find pretty surprising, ceiling vents. You have a fully ducted HVAC system. You have vents in every room, but most of the houses that you probably walk through here in Washington have floor vents. And it is not fun to step on or drop something down a floor vent. Not fun. So even on a two-story floor plan, we always do ceiling vents. We never do floor vents. Okay, now here we are in the master bathroom. The first thing that probably sticks out is private toilet room. How nice is that? Sometimes you need privacy. Sometimes it's nice to nice to have a little bit of privacy in there. So that's a pretty common standard feature in every, almost every, I shouldn't say every, almost every Coval home. This is again, the same 
standard LVT, luxury vinyl tile flooring. Some folks call it luxury vinyl planking. That's, that's fine as well. Same thing. Um, here again, everything you see here is standard except for the upgraded quartz countertops. Those are standard faucets, mirror, standard lights, standard cabinets, uh, standard hardware, standard interior painting. Looking around here, there is a standard uh, five foot fiberglass insert shower with glass and a standard five foot soaking tub with tile backsplash. This window as well is standard. And you see how the glass is frosted. We can do frosted or clear. That's uh, up to you, whatever you'd like to do. And if you'd like to do something more, you know, more luxurious, more pretty, um, if you want to do um, a different kind of upgraded tub, even a jetted tub, like a whirlpool tub or um, uh, upgraded tile shower, you'll see tons of stuff in our, in our gallery. If you go to our gallery, we can definitely do, we can do a lot uh, if, <laughs> if it fits your budget. Uh, in here, we have a nice big walk-in closet. Just to look around there, this, these are the standard uh, wire shelving racks. But, you know, a lot of our clients, because, hey, we got an Ikea basically right down the street in most of these areas. If you want us to leave the, to leave the wire racks off, we can do that. If you want to do maybe like some custom shelving, you can talk to your project manager either to have that done during or after construction. It'll just depend on the factors we talked about before. You can always ask your project manager about that. Um, in case you're wondering what this is, that is access to the attic. And then on the first floor, typically it's in a closet, you'll find access to the uh, crawl space underneath. So let's jump back up here. You can see we're in this master bedroom suite right now. And we can walk back around the corner to the loft area. Um, I want to point out another architectural change. So here we are in the loft again, right? Now, if you look at the standard floor plan layout, this is different, this wall and this door. So you click on this, again, yellow dot, architectural change. Um, this wall and door are not there. Uh, typically, if you look back at the, the layout, this won't be here. This is wide open and there's not a closet here. This area is almost like a second living room. Uh, we call it the family room or the teen living room. Um, but our client needed another bedroom with a closet. So we were happy to make that layout change, even though obviously we're not a custom builder, but that doesn't mean that we can't get our clients what we want most of the time. All right, going around the hallway, this is the laundry room. Um, again, appliances are not included because of the fact we don't want you to pay us more for something you can get later. We will uh, be able to give you time to be able to have that installed in your, in your uh, construction process. And then here are the two front bedrooms along with a hallway bathroom right here. So again, everything you see here in the hallway bathroom, everything is standard, including the two sinks. Uh, it's just the upgraded quartz countertops that are the upgrade. Um, over here, you have again, private toilet room, standard fiberglass insert shower. So just to pull this back up, I believe we've walked through pretty much everything and I wanna make sure we give the good questions that are coming in the right, uh, the right focus. Um, I'm going to turn it back over to Gary. Gary, if you want to take it from here and we can start getting some of these questions answered and please everyone continue to send more questions. We still have about 20 minutes here. So any questions uh, we're happy to answer and we, we appreciate you letting us walk you through this beautiful house. All right, folks. Well, thank you, Joey, so much for walking us through that house so carefully. So let's begin to answer your questions. And folks, with the time we've got remaining, we certainly have the ability to answer several more questions than what we have. But let's, let's acknowledge the questions that we've received to this point. 
uh, to begin. Uh oh. With uh, uh, thank you, Angela. Your question has to do with uh, converting. Oh, you're, uh, you're, you're I'm sorry, you're frozen for just a second. I apologize. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, if that happens again, please uh, go ahead and take it from there, Joey. Apologize, uh, folks. But coming back to the question for Angela, your question had to do with converting the standard carpet to luxury vinyl plank, uh, and specifically the dining room. Uh, I'll actually give you the cost. You You just your question was just to speak general dollar upgrade nine hundred dollar upgrade to convert that from carpet uh, to luxury vinyl plank if we stay stayed which most folks do uh, within these standard options and just wanting to answer your question Angela as comprehensively as I can if as Joey's showing us that dining room if you wanted to take that luxury vinyl plank from the kitchen, from the pantry, into the dining room, and now move it into the great room and down that entry hallway, uh, that would be a $3,500 uh, upgrade cost to convert the standard. Thank you, Joey. Beautifully done. <laughs> the standard carpet to luxury vinyl plank. So $900 in this case for the dining room, $3,500 into that great room. From the Hey, Gary, are you still there? I think you froze on us, buddy. Sorry, folks, little technical glitches today. All right, well, let's pick it back up. I'll take over for Gary until he returns. Uh, we had a question coming in here just a minute ago. Can you add a pantry anywhere? Thank you for that question. That's a very good question. So coming around here, um, I believe, and let me actually do this. I'm gonna actually do this. Let me exit out of this, and pull back up the floor plan. So you see PTY right there, this is actually a pantry. So there is a pantry already here. Um, you asked if you can add a pantry anywhere. There already is one. However, you know, there's, there's any number of things that we could do. We can get creative. We can try to extend the pantry. Um, one of the things that we would not want to do uh, because we're semi-custom and not fully custom we typically do not move staircases because that just really complicates things and it has to be re-engineered. So, there's, so definitely there's definitely some things we can do. I personally have had a client who said, well, you know, I don't really need this storage closet on the other side. And we knocked this wall out and we even closed it off right here. And they more than doubled the size of their pantry. So something like that would be really easy. Um, thank you for your question. Gary, I see that you're back. Uh, you want to try to pick us back up where we left off? Uh, you were doing great. Yeah, thank you for jumping in there when I lost connection there. If that happens yeah. again, please. One thing just you might- Just take it from that point yeah. forward, Joey. But I, yeah. I think you were, please. Yeah, I was just going to say one thing we could attempt to do is um, if we, if we, if take, we our, take our, our cameras off, all, maybe even all three of us, three that of might us. help. We could try that, okay? All right, real good. Thank you, Joey. So I was, obviously I lost uh, connection there for a few moments, so I apologize if I'm repeating what Joey's already told you with regard to that architectural change question. He's noted already in the uh, virtual walkthrough uh, the probably the most commonly conversion of the family room into another bedroom another one 
maybe he already spoke to this, is the conversion of the outdoor living space uh, to living space to enlarge that dining area. One customer uh, actually took bedrooms two and three, took out that center wall, did double doors, and that became a, uh, a media room, I believe it was in their case. So this, I would suggest this home plan doesn't necessarily suggest, thank you, Joey, doesn't necessarily suggest uh, an abundance of changes um, that another one might, uh, just depends upon you. So a couple examples of what that might be, but I think that satisfies Ashley's questions. And then we already addressed Angela. But folks, please don't be hesitant. We want to make the most of this opportunity for you. So continue to answer your good questions. Uh, Ashley's asking, can you share the per square foot cost for extending the luxury vinyl plank? Absolutely. We have no problem with that. It is $6.90 per square foot, Ashley, plus tax. So if you're sticking with the standard and wanting to convert uh, carpet to luxury vinyl plank, $6.90. And as Joey pointed out, you could do the math yourself if you wanted to. Otherwise, we can certainly do it for you. But uh, with the uh, measurement tool, uh, you can see for yourself what a particular room uh, might amount to uh, with that uh, per square foot cost. Now, someone might ask who builds this home. There's primarily two clients that build this home. Uh, there's the family that has a print. Since this home is 30 feet wide and 50 feet long, on a lot of a lot and made a nice profit uh, upon uh, doing it that way. Ashley's asking, do you have builders or other contractors that you consistently work with or does it vary by project based on location availability? I, I think what you mean, I, I apologize if I got this wrong, correct me if I did Ashley, but uh, I think what you're suggesting is the subcontractors that we hire all on your live builders hire subcontractors that do specific types of work within your home. And what's unique about us is uh, we think it's to your benefit. We're very proud of the fact that we are a smaller builder. And the one of the benefits in doing that is the fact that our subcontractors are as close to our own employees as any builder can have um, without that not technically being the case, meaning that. It's as if one crew is practically moving from home to home. So there's a very uh, consistent application of uh, craftsmanship uh, that occurs. Uh, speaking a little bit beyond that, though, one of our internal principles is that we do not want to lacking resources. So if you haven't already met with us, if you have, you probably already experienced this. Uh, we will give you every conceivable resource you might need. You don't have land? We'll give you a land expert agent. If you have land but need a feasibility, we'll give you three trusted uh, feasibility study consultants that are independent of us, but we are confident that they will reflect uh, favorably upon us. We'll give you, our, if you haven't already received it, that our top five lender list, and not only a lender list, but specifically the top rated uh, loan agents uh, within those institutions that have been there for a good deal time. You can be confident of their answers and turn your phone calls as quickly as we want to as well. So please, if you have any further questions, let me come back. We might have another one here in the chat. How far out are you on starting builds? Second question, how long does a normal build take? At Coval Homes, we especially appreciate these questions and the fact that to our knowledge, during the course of this entire pandemic, we are the only, again, to our knowledge, the only builder that's maintained a guaranteed timeline for construction. If you do not have an architectural change, and based on the complexity, 
It may, may have a significant or little effect upon this. But without an architectural change, we will literally guarantee the timeline framing to finish 150 days. And if you've spoken to other builders, I think you will be duly impressed upon that fact. Uh, many are not coming near uh, that guaranteed timeline. Again, it comes back to us being a smaller builder. We think we're much more able to manage uh, the pieces of the puzzle, so to speak, and respect your time and avoid imag every imaginable delay that might be Wise occur. Oh, wow. Thank you, Shiaishin, with that. How long does a normal build take? Well, we answered that. There's no real delays. Uh, we don't oversell. So we're very, very cognizant from the very beginning that when you give us those permitted plans, and if you haven't already spoken to us or met with us, ask us how we're going to help you get those permitted plans. But beyond that, once you give us those permitted plans, uh, we're quickly going to schedule a, a dig out site visit with you, your excavator. If you don't have excavators, we've got four or five that we can give you today. But you, your excavator, your project manager then becomes uh, a part of the picture at that stage, who's going to help you to the point of occupancy. But then that dig out site visit, once we've got that, and we're ready to go. Uh, honestly, one of the reasons why we want to manage this time so well is, is selfish in the fact that ultimately we don't do a lot of advertising. We think the best means of business and advertising uh, is word of mouth or referrals. So we know one of the ways in which to encourage you to refer us to others is to get this home done without a compromising craftsmanship uh, as quickly as we can. And at the same time, we feel your pain. You may be in a fifth wheel or in other sorts of inconvenient uh, means of, of housing. So we appreciate that and we're going to act accordingly. Uh, do uh, do Cuba Homes have any green home that qualify for her score? That's a very, very good question. Uh, I would ask that uh, you, Angela, ask that question when we follow up with you this afternoon. It's a, uh, a bit complicated. We, we build an energy efficient home, but uh, to go into the specifics there might not necessarily be practical in this case, but especially according to the upgraded energy code requirements that came into effect February uh, 1st, uh, uh, several of our standards were increased because of that uh, beyond the energy efficiency that already existed. But a uh, really good question. Let me go back then. Oh, Phil and Laura, thank you. What are the dimensions of the standard pantry? Well, you know, why don't we do this for you, uh, Phil and Laura? What if uh, once we're done here shortly thereafter, uh, Joey can not only satisfy that question, but the dimensions of other elements as well for you. Uh, he can send you that page that would indicate exactly uh, the dimensions uh, since you're not able to access that as easily um, by means of the dimensions here. But yeah, Joey will follow up for you on that. Unfortunately, the, the door is closed. We can't get in there right now. What other good questions do you have for us? Let me go back to the to the chat portion and see if there's anything new there. Doesn't appear to be anything new. We're at 1253. So again, folks, if you did not have the opportunity to ask here, know that we're gonna follow up with you. Well, hi, Adam, uh, you just got here. Well, I'm sorry that you were late. Here's the good news, Adam. Uh, this, uh, this can be accessed on the website and a recorded version of this so you don't miss anything. Uh, can be sent to you or will be on the website here very, very shortly. Um, uh, oh, you're, you're on a cruise ship and you have no signal. Well, uh, I can't feel sorry for you that you're on a cruise ship, but I am sorry that you had no signal. But uh, in any event, no worries. Uh, it, we will make the arrangements where it was as if you were here from the beginning, but uh, uh, enjoy your cruise. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you when you get back, no doubt. Any other questions, folks? 
or if, if there's any other uh, unique locations you might be and you want to share that, you're <laughs> free to do so. Ashley, is it possible to add an, an attached RV garage to a floor plan? Great question. We have we can accommodate RVs by by means of uh, electrical requirements. We don't have the option, and again, we think it's to your benefit uh, to attach an RV garage to it during construction. If you chose to do that thereafter, then you certainly have the ability to, and we might even be able to make it easier for you during framing. Uh, so talk to us about that. But if you wanted uh, the means of doing that beyond the builder, because we think you can do better than the builder doing this, honestly, in terms of cost, uh, we'll give you uh, one or more referrals if you don't already have it. But, uh, why don't we begin to wrap up the questions? It's 1255. I'm going to go back over here one more time, see if uh, how could city power and water delays affect overall build schedule? To my knowledge, Corey, we're not experiencing that, at least in a significant way. It's appreciate that question. Let's do this. Uh, let's let the uh, specific uh, home consultant uh, answer that question. And even maybe more specifically beyond that, with one of our referrals by means of a, a permit consultant, they can speak more specifically. But uh, I have yet to speak of a client recently that uh, reflected uh, that issue, at least in a way that uh, uh, was significantly uh, impacting them and their project. Well, thank you so much for your thoughtful, insightful questions. Uh, Joey uh, and or Miranda, anything to say in conclusion? Oh, just thanks for coming. We appreciate all of you came and all the good questions. Um, uh, I was really happy, by the way, I saw lots of familiar names, um, including that question about the city power and water. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> That's you're uh, you're actually one of my clients, and we even had an email together this morning. Uh, I look forward to talking to you. I'll I'll be responding to you here in just a little while. But yeah, thanks for coming, everybody. There's going to be a uh, a recording, a video of this, so uh, you can watch it again. Maybe we mentioned something, and I know we had a, a little couple little technical audio video delays and glitches and stuff. It happens. Um, we appreciate you understanding. If something glitched and you were not able to hear the question clearly answered, um, that could be a subject of what we talk about when we call. But um, yeah, just again, thank you for coming. Thank you for the opportunity to be your builder. We're very proud to be able to do to possibly be your builder. Um, we're, we're looking forward to working with each of you. And uh, please reach out to your home consultant if we're not able to get in touch with you reach out to us, let us know any updates on your project, where you're going, what you need next, what your goals are. Um, we treat each project uh, individually. We, we don't look at you as a job number. We look at every, every job as a family or a person. So uh, we're very grateful for each one of you. So other than that, you know, thanks again for being here. I don't know if there's anything uh, Gary or, or Miranda to add to that. But again, we're just very grateful for you being here. Beautifully said, Joey. No, I would only close by saying that our ultimate business principle is you'll be proud of what we built together. And we are in fact doing this together from the very beginning. So please, we encourage you not to make this harder than it has to be. Uh, lean on us for resources, uh, questions or otherwise. Uh, let us know what we can do. But again, we'll be following up here shortly. Uh, thank you for your valuable time. And we hope to have the remarkable privilege of building uh, this or any other home for you and your family. Take care. And there's a question. How can we do better next time? We're always looking to improve ourselves. So if you would answer this uh, uh, quick question and uh, enjoy the rest of this day. And of course, with all we're dealing with, please stay safe. Thanks again. Thank you.